Today we're going to look at Kino's combine function, which was introduced with Kino 1.4 and is one of the most useful tools within Kino. I'm first going to show you how it basically works, and then we're going to look into how this can help you with your workflows. Now let's start with those two little doggies here. Those are two short clips which are going to combine into one clip, much like a rough cut or assembly cut, um, using the new combine function. First, let's take a look at the two clips. Uh, as you can see here, by the way, the clips have metadata like uh, a marker, in this case, where the dog opens uh, his eyes and tags, but we're going to get to that later in, the, in this cast. So all I have to do is select those two clips and select Combine in the context menu, which, uh, which works basically like the transcode menu. So if you have transcoded or rewrapped with Kino, you know what to do here. In this case, I'm choosing Rewrap to Morph uh, because I don't see the need to re-encode the two clips. They're both in ProRes and I just choose this option, which by the way is incredibly fast, which you're going to see. Okay, I'm going to call the end result dog compilation and hit start. And here you can see, well, it was too fast to show the progress. It's already done, which is because it uh, was a rewrap, not a transcode. And you can see the result here. It's a nice combined clip of those two dogs. And noteworthy is all the metadata, including markers and the combined tags of the two clips um, are in the end result which is pretty neat and why that is so important, I'm going to show you later on in a more practical example. The only thing that you have to be aware of is that the combined function requires all of the clips to have exactly the same technical properties. That is, you have to ensure that they have the same codec, the same resolution, and the same frame rate, and the same number of audio tracks. But you can either do that by selecting the material accordingly or to transcode the material that does not match those specs in Kino first, which is pretty easy, as you know. And now for a practical example. This is material from a drone shoot in the US and Mexico uh, from 2016. And as is typical with drone shoots, we have really long takes. I'll show you. We have six takes and a total of almost 31 minutes in this shoot. So what we did was we went through all the takes and isolated the parts that were really good using kind of subclip function, which we have demoed in several other tutorials. And then used kind of batch export functionality to export all those subclips into a selection directory, which you see here. And as you can see, we have reduced the amount of footage quite considerably from 31 minutes to 39 seconds. And this is really uh, a, a rather typical ratio for a number of uh, shooting scenarios. So what I do here is I select all those clips and then select combine. Again, I rewrap because I see no need to re-encode and I export it into my exports directory and call it USA Mexico 2016 best shots. I hit start and you can see how fast this is because it was not a re-encode but a re-wrap. And there it is. We have this neatly combined news cut, delivery cut, assembly cut, whatever you call it. And you can send this to your producer and the super nice thing is all the metadata from all the single clips, which was taken over from the sub clips from the initial um, screening process and selection process, is still part of the end result. And you can now either send this to someone who uses Kino and um, they can use that metadata within Kino. If they don't use Kino, you can send this as Final Cut XML, as Premiere XML, 
or you can send it as an old school shot list using Kynos Excel export. Now here's a practical tip. While Kynos combined function is not a full-fledged rough cut editor, you do have full control over the order of the clips. That is by sorting them by any property you like. And if you want full control, the easiest thing you can do is input a shot number. And then sort by shot. You can visualize this more easily using the list function and activating the shot column here. Now this opens up a wide range of possible applications. Imagine sending your B-roll as a neatly organized package to your client or to your post-production people. Imagine typical news workflows where teams in the field deliver a news cut of today's event together with metadata to their station or broadcast teams in the fields that deliver their material pre-selected and pre-packaged ready for ingest into MAM or PAM systems. It just adds an extremely powerful set of new options to your workflow.